Santa Claus is pagan too. Merry Yuletide, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays to all my Red Pagan Corner fans. Man, it's been one hell of a year, and honestly, the best way I can describe going out is, um, what the hell was that? Um, this year has been very particularly draining, but also heartwarming at the same time. Um, I've ended up getting to interact with so many new people, and honestly, I am very humbled and very grateful and just really happy on how this year ultimately has been really good for the channel, really good for me, and the people that I've gotten to meet along the way. Um, it's also been a very draining year. There's been a lot of drama. There's been a lot of distractions in both my online and personal life. Um, but I hope to be back to making regular content very soon and I'm hoping to have at least one interview with um, a survivor of SA, um, possibly even two coming up here soon. Um, so we shall see what happens. Um, in the meantime, here's a couple of um, stories that I wanted to cover for the end of the year, but just never really could quite fully make a script for. But I think that you guys will all enjoy it nonetheless. So here we go. Henry Kissinger, the man responsible for millions of dead Cambodians during the Vietnam War era and the hundreds of thousands of dead Chileans under the Pinochet regime, is at last going to have his day of reckoning, having to answer to each and every one of the souls that he caused the deaths of. The 100-year-old war criminal and Nixon's fuck buddy died at his Connecticut home on November 29th. In the words of my partner, best birthday gift I could have asked for. Yes, as my partner was turning 28 years old and we were sitting down to a nice family meal uh, out at a fine Italian restaurant, we got the fantastic news of this man's passing. Now, I'm not the only one, uh, now I'm not normally the one that brings my religion into, into my work, but all the gods must have gotten together for a nice little funny to pull off this trick and sent this man burning into the pits of hell's eternal underworld, and they could not have picked a better time of the year. Not only was it my partner's birthday, but also we have, had entered the holiday season as well. So I guess it's a Yuletide miracle. Goddess bless us, everyone. In addition to that, Derek Chauvin, the former Minnesota police officer who killed George Floyd, sparking a massive social wave against racism in America, has been, had been stabbed in prison. The attack happened November 24th at the Federal Corrections Institution in Tucson, Arizona, where Chauvin was being held. John Terskak, a former Mexican Mafia leader who had served as an FBI informant, stabbed Chauvin 22 times on Black Friday in the law library of the prison because he was a profile inmate. Instead of being given a medal for the stabbing, Tursak is being charged with attempted murder, assault, and intent to commit murder, assault with a dead, dangerous weapon, and assault resulting in serious bodily injury. However, I think I speak for most people when I say this man just earned some serious respect from other inmates, ACAB activists, and anti-fascists alike. I think I might write him a Christmas card. What's his address? Well, unlike... Henry Kissinger, Chauvin actually did survive this incident. But I think it is very important to note how we got two very early holiday gifts just before December started. Now, I guess the Lord does work in mysterious ways. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Yuletide. Get that star apart